फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित आई एम प्रोफेसर गो एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज बीकानेर राजस्थान इंडिया फ्रेंड्स आई वर्क फॉर एलेवन ईयर्स एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफिसर विथ उर्मूल डेयरी आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ माई मास्टर्स इन वेटनरी गायनेकोलॉजी एंड ऑस्टेटिक्स विद अ गोल्ड मेडल then i work for 5 months with the district rural development agency uh, and since 10th may 1996 that is just 35 years uh, before uh, 35 years back from today i joined this university friends during my working with the uh, urmul dairy and with the district rural development agencies i have uh, organized a lot of infertility camps learnings trainings to farmers and i supervise the various government schemes for rural masses i work with nearly all species including cattle the buffalo sheep goat horses dogs except pigs so forgive me for my uh, little experience in reproduction with pigs uh, friends i have to my credit many books two of which are international and 216 research publications that collectively appear in uh, 3185 pages uh, for the student benefit uh, i had been uh, taking keen interest in reading and writing and uh, i uh, a couple of years back i produced the pictorial guide to veterinary obstetrics and gynecology now uh, just one year back i started this channel govind narayan purohit uh, wherein in a series of lectures i have tried to explain most topics covered under veterinary gynecology and obstetrics a few video lectures on the remaining topics shall be uploaded as soon as possible and similarly lectures on andrology shall be included in due course of time so friends uh, uh, let me explain some basic things theriogenology is a branch of animal science concerned with the reproduction including the physiology and pathology of male and female reproductive systems of animals and the clinical practice of veterinary obstetrics gynecology and andrology now what is veterinary gynecology let me explain a branch of science that deals with the pathophysiology of the female animals and veterinary obstetrics a branch of science that deals with the care of the female animal during pregnancy at parturition and during the postpartum period and andrology is a branch of science that that deals with the pathophysiology of the male animals now let me explain some importance of reproduction for the farmer uh, in my first lecture i stress on the importance of reproduction for the farmer keeping dairy animals in small ruminants is important because there is no production without reproduction for the farmers keeping species which have a performance value at the race course club the horses camel there is a desire to have a progeny from the champion performer males and females and for the owners keeping pets sentimental and commercial issues are involved in research reproduction is the focus of world research resulting in clones trige transgenics biofarming stem cells and many other things now let us Uh, briefly uh, talk what is reproduction in its literal meaning reproduction means a copy of something especially a painting or the process of copying something in science reproduction would mean the process sexual or asexual by which animals and plants produce new individuals or in simpler words the act of producing a new life animal reproduction or procreation is the biological process through which new offspring individual organisms are produced from their parents the animal kingdom uh, i am not a specialist on animal kingdom but i would like to specify some basic things in the animal kingdom each species has its unique adaptations for reproduction a sexual reproduction produces genetically identical offspring clones as per the previous definition given by graner whereas in sexual reproduction the genetic material of two individual combines to produce offspring that are genetically different from their parents during sexual reproduction the male gamete the sperm may be placed inside the female's body for internal fertilization or the sperm may be left in the environment for 
the for the female to locate it and place it on her body or both sperms and eggs are located into the environment for external fertilization external fertilization is seen in fish amphibians and many other aquatic species and internal specialized uh, fertilization is uh, uh, is seen in animals or animals with internal fertilization are classified into three types the oviparous the, in which the fertilized eggs are laid outside the female's body and develop there receiving nourishment from the yolk that is a part of the egg the example for this is reptiles birds etc then there there are the ovoviviparous uh, animals in which fertilized eggs are retained in the female but the embryo obtains it, its nourishment from the egg yolk for example lizards some snakes sharks etc in uh, the third classification is the viviparous the young ones develop within the female receiving nourishment from the mother's blood through the placenta the offspring develops in the female is and is born alive examples are most mammalian species so we in our talk would be concentrating on the viviparous mammalian species and specially the domestic and some pet animals so kindly listen the lectures share the videos and subscribe to my channel govind narayan purohit at youtube if you like them thank you thank you very much and welcome once again to my youtube channel